and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy week. Of I filmed a couple of videos that the um, it just was so blurry that I just couldn't put them up. Um, so one of them was like a check in for the beginning of June, at uh, July, sorry. Um, so like counting savings, challenges, etc. Um, but. But yeah, it was just too blurry. I couldn't put it up. The quality was just absolutely terrible. So I'm hoping today's video won't go that way. I'm hoping we're going to be okay. And as you can see, we have a new friend here. Um, you'll have seen this on a lot of other people's channels, and you might have remember you might remember me mentioning um, the fact that I wanted well, I'd ordered some planners to sell on Etsy um, however the wholesaler that I was getting them from last minute pulled out um, so yeah I'm on the hunt for another one but I'm using this one for now and I have to say I'm absolutely loving using it so oh that reminds me I haven't got my highlighters out so we're starting in July and um, our budget starts on the 1st of July I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see this. So on the 1st of July we went and did a food shop. Um, now you'll know that we upped our food allowance to 100 and we actually went over that. I'm not too bothered about it to be honest. Um, we had some, we've got quite a big buffer in our account at the moment. Um, I don't know, my budget just went a bit off I think. <laughs> Um, so I'm not too fussed about the £8.35 that we went over with us being on holiday last week and um, we really needed to just replenish all of the cupboards um, actually and while we're on it I also did spend £5 on food on Saturday um, and I can't even remember what that was but it was like grocery money it wasn't like to eat now type of thing um, and we also spent £12.42 on household bits in Aldi um, Again, we needed like a bulk of toilet roll, we needed washing up liquid, bleach, we needed like all kinds. Um, so we did that on Friday. Also, if my voice sounds a bit corgi, a bit funny, um, I've been a bit off the last few days. Um, I've been testing, it's not the C word. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, just in case you think oh, she sounds a bit funny, it is. that's what it is. Um, we also did spend another £16 on Saturday for the household. Um, and we needed some drain and blocker, we needed like, whoops, we needed like soaps for all the bathrooms, um, yeah, we just needed a full restock. So this is way off my budget, but honestly I'm not stressing about it. Um, and we also spent, I put £5 there miscellaneous, but I think it was only four. Um, so we'll have a look at that. And then we spent... £12.85 from our gifts envelope and that was on all of the cards that we needed for July, birthday cards. It was for um, a bottle of wine for um, Alex's auntie's 60th, which we popped in on Saturday to see her. So we took her a bottle of wine and then I also spent £48.99 on clothes on Saturday. Um, I'm just desperate for some new clothes to be honest and yeah. And we spent £4 for George. Um, I nipped into Aztecs and you'd have a sale on the children's clothes. And I got him, um, I think, sorry, someone just knocked on the door so I feel a bit distracted. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so I got him, I think it was a five pack of leggings for £4 um, in his next size up, which was pretty good. Um, and then we come to Sunday. Sunday was a no spend. Monday was a no spend. And Wednesday was a no spend. Um, I am actually filming filming this on Wednesday evening because I'm just not going to have time to film it tomorrow. So we'll include tomorrow if we spend anything like in the next week's check in. And on Tuesday, this breaks my heart. We filled the car up and it was eighty one pound fifty. I literally said in my budget video, I think it's normally about seventy five pound. Yeah, clearly I hadn't filled the car up in a while because it was eighty one fifty. Um, so 150 over budget but again that's fine and this was an unbudgeted spend 
What colour am I doing then? Green. This Tesco's 1450 was unbudgeted. Um, my husband just needed a few like stationary bits for work. Um, so yeah, it was unbudgeted, but it's okay. No dramas. Um, so although I feel like we did spend a lot, we did have three no spend days, which I'm pretty pleased about. Um, and then, oh, let me zoom you out. The other way that I'm using this is I am tracking all of our expenses. And what I'm also doing is in today's video, we will be taking some cash out of our envelopes that where we've spent on card. So these C's here mean that we've spent on card. Um, so I need to get the money out of our envelopes to put back in the bank. Some of them we'll just be getting ticked off and um, we'll go through that first because, um, it, yeah, so basically what I've realised is I really need to just do one big stuffing at the beginning of the month with everything. And then because like things like, clothing 48.99 now i know this month i'm putting 50 pound into clothing however we'd only stuffed 10 pound last week um so that just doesn't it didn't work for us kind of doing it split so i think going forward i'm just going to do one big stuff at the beginning of the month um because obviously now i know i don't need to put the extra 40 pound into clothing because it's already been spent i just need to take the 10 pound out of clothing if that makes sense so there's a few like that that I just need to tick off. So for instance, um, I know we've overspent on household, so I'm just gonna give that a tick. We've overspent on food, so I'll give that a tick. Oh, I think I've missed something off that. Um, yeah, I think I've missed something off that thing, but we'll come to it in a second. Um, miscellaneous we can take out, we can take out some of our fuel but haven't stuffed the full amount and that miscellaneous is just getting kind of written off. So we can take some of that out, we can take some of that out, take some of that out, take that out, take that out, and take some of that out. Okay, so household 1242 at Aldi, um, so we put this month, I know we were budgeting a full 30, and we put 20, 10 pounds, sorry, into the pot downstairs for like the window cleaner and stuff, and we put 10 pound into our cash envelopes. So I'm just gonna take the 10 pound out, um, and that 12.42 will come from other places. We'll take the 10 pound out of clothing, um, and then we'll just not stuff the other 40 that I was due to stuff. Um, from our home envelope, we need to take 16. Um, how am I gonna do this? Cause I do wanna put the change back in that one. Let's see what change we've got in this. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we take that ten out and then take the ten pound note. We can then, this feels far too complicated, <laughs> swap. And I'm literally just going to put these in here just so it works, just so my head makes sense in my head. I'm going to pop that 20 in there. Okay, so let's take the 16 from our home envelope. We bought some new pasta bowls. Um, to be honest, we eat all of our food out of pasta bowls. And I don't really know why, but we do. So 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got the full pound remaining in there. that off and then George is four pound so if we've got ten pound in George this should 
work out okay because we can take that out and we can put that six back in there. That worked out well. Mm, on there. Miscellaneous. Um, so because it was only four pound, I've actually got a little bit of side hustle money here. And there's five pound in change, so let's just put that in there. So I need to put four pound, one, two, three, four. So we've got one pound like roll over from miscellaneous. And then we're just gonna take the 40 pound that we'd stuff for fuel out. And I think, oh, we've got my spending money, so that is to be allocated elsewhere because I didn't spend it. Brilliant. So, going back to the bank, we have got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 2, 3, 4, 84 pound. So what I'm actually going to do, so I just grabbed um, this pink envelope that I've shown before and this can be back to the bank. So we need to reallocate this rollover money here. Um, so we've got three pound coins, which will be going to the save 700 challenge. Um, we've got five pound, and then we've got 50, one pound, five, six, seven, one pound seven to go into our penny savings so what did i say one pound seven fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety one pound five six seven so one pound seven is here and it's pink so let's just pop the money in here first pink so that's that done and then let's grab our savings binder and we're going to put three pound into this. Let's just pop it in. Okay, so we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to add it up to see what we've got. And then we have... 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 35, 335. Three, we now have 343. Three. So hopefully next week we will hit 350, which will be our halfway mark. So how much did we put in three pounds? So one, actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this off camera. But I'm gonna take off one, two, three, and then the two that I haven't colored in. And I'm gonna just color in this five. So I'll just put cross through, so I know I need to um, remove them from being colored in. And then, Sorry, we had another interruption. Um, my son started crying out when he sleeps, which he never ever does, so I've resettled him. Hopefully, he's gonna stay quiet. Hmm. I don't know where to put my five pound. I know that's first world problems. Um, what do you think? Mm. 
Mm, I put it in family fun. No, I'm not going to put it in clothes because... Am I going to put it in clothes? Yeah, I feel like that's what we're going to need to buy next. And then, the last thing... Oh, we've got two things we need to do, actually. We need to restock our weekly binder. And the battery's flashing, so I need to be quick. So... There should be 100 in here, 20, 40, 60, 81, to go into food. This should be quick actually because you spent most of the money for the month. That would go in here. And fuel doesn't need anything, household doesn't need anything, eating out doesn't, fun doesn't, my spending does. Let's hold it down. Five pound, great. So let me just take that five miscellaneous out. Let me change this for how much did we put in it last time? Five. Um, just keep checking that that's all rolling. So if we take this out. My spending. So we have another five. Mm -hmm. Just do that for now. So we need to put five pounds into spending. And it's five pounds. It's miscellaneous. So that is that all done for the week. And then I've got, if this battery's going to let me, forty-five pound to from selling something on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I pretty much know where this money's going. So I'm going to put twenty pound into home because it was a piece of furniture we sold. So. 20 back in there and we put 20 into date night um, and then okay we had a little break because the battery ran out of the camera ran out of battery and but what I was saying was I want to start putting some money into this autumn savings challenge ready for autumn um, if there's any bits we want to do with George, Halloween um, I was going to just do a dedicated Halloween one but I think autumn in general would kind of work slightly better for us um, so I'm going to do each one let's see mm. let's do each one five pound and Oh, that's meant to go there. So it'll be 200 in total if we if we manage it. And let's just take off that little pumpkin spice latte. Um, I'm so ready for the autumn. You guys probably won't know, but autumn is my absolute favourite time of the year. Um, actually, I do like Christmas too, but autumn I just absolutely love. Um, so that is literally it for this video i hope that you did enjoy it if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and we will see you in a video probably sunday where we cashed off the rest of our money for july which will just make us yeah i just feel think we'll feel so much better once the money's kind of where it should be yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you later